Hey guys, so this is going to be my makeup tutorial thingy and uh, since I have so much crap I have, think I'm going to make two videos one where I explain what I use and what I use it for and then I'll make one with the entire routine so you can see how I do it so yeah basically the things that I use are this which is, I mean, okay, you have to understand that putting on makeup is basically my favorite part of the day. So, I have a lot of crap that people never use otherwise. <laughs> so, don't, like, you ask for my routine and this is my routine. So, you probably won't use half of this stuff. But, just so you know what I use. This is my foundation face palette, my fan palette, which I mix all the colors on. And I then use uh, these, which are makeup designery. Most of my face products are makeup designery. So the ones I use are the foundation palette 1 and 2, correction palette, and highlights and shadows. For my powder, I also use makeup designery. It's uh, their loose powder called Zero. And I use this Body Shop bronzer, which is really old, and it looks like this. So it's not really that great, but I use it because I can't be bothered to buy a new one. And for blusher, I use Makeup Store. This one is called Blush Fresh. And uh, yeah, it works. For my brows, I use... Makeup Store's Try Brow Color and it's uh, really good and for my eyes I use the micro shadows from Makeup Store the ones called Muffin oh, I can show you what they look like Muffin is the light one uh, and then Smog is the medium brown and Ghetto is the ghetto brown. That did not sound good. Right. Well, it's called ghetto, so not my problem. Um, eyeliner, I use Sephora. This uh, kind of liquid, long lasting, supposedly, but I guess, yeah. I mean, nothing is really more long lasting than anything else. It just depends on how well you apply it. So, yeah. I also use this uh, coal pencil from Sephora for the kind of oh I'll show you later but I use the liquid for the wings and the pencil for the other part um, mascara wise I I love mascaras and if, if there's something where I like fall for commercials all the time it's mascaras not necessarily because I think that it will actually triple the length of your lashes but I just like trying them and I've tried basically every single mascara in the world. And uh, right now I use uh, this one full action from uh, Sephora. It's kind of whatever, nothing impressive. It has uh, kind of fat. Then I have this one, Lash Stiletto from uh, Maybelline, which is one of my favorites. And they don't even sell them here anymore. I got this in LA or San Francisco. And it has this great skinny brush, and it makes them really long and separated. But my number one favorite that I'm not using now, because I'm saving it for when these two run out, is the Colossal from Maybelline. It's always my favorite, and I've tried all the Colossal, all, all the Maybelline different colors and whatever. And this is the only one that I really liked, but yet every time I go to buy it, because I'm thinking like, oh, this new one was crap, so I'm going to buy the one I like. I see a new one, so I try that one. So I never have this, but now I do. And uh, when I'm done with these two other ones, this is what I'm using. Um, and eyelash curler from Sephora, nothing special. For my foundation, I use this. Most of my brushes are makeup designery also. This is uh, 940, just a regular synthetic makeup foundation brush. Um, this one 
is uh, called, well, it's number 700 from Makeup Designery. And the thing is, they call it powder, blush, brush, whatever, but that's not what I use it for. And that's the case with most of my brushes. I don't use them for what they're supposed to be used for, but I don't care. Well, this is my shadow, uh, highlight shadow, shadow brush. Um, for the highlights, I use this uh, 320 brush. It's really small. I really wish I had a bigger one, so I always end up using my foundation brush after I apply the foundation to put this on the highlights on bigger areas. But this one is good for the nose, and you'll see. And it's, uh, they call it, what do they call it? Uh, shadow brush. I don't use it as a shadow brush. This, however, 350 is their shadow blending brush. And, well, I use it for shadows for my nose. So, yeah, it works as that. Good. And for my eyebrows, I use, this is a makeup store. Mm -mm -mm. It's... Uh, this one is 110, and it's a angled brush, but they they now call it for some reason 208. I don't know. This this is quite old actually, so I guess they'll change it. And then the death brush is my 117 from Makeup Store, my blending brush. It's horrible. It hurts so bad, <laughs> and I I'm going to invest in new blending brushes because I really need one. And now they call it, I think they call it 2, 217 instead of 117. So I'm sure they've updated it, but this one is really horrible. But I use it anyway because I don't have any other ones. Okie dokie. Uh, and for my loose powder, I use the 720 Makeup Designery powder blush brush. And then I have, I well, a long time ago, I bought this brush kit from uh, Beauty's Factory. Not really that great. I mean, you can see on this brush, I don't know if you can see it, but it's cut really badly. It's like chopped instead of being smooth like this one. Here you can see it goes like, whew, and this one is like, tch, 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 which is horrible. But I mean, I'm going to invest in better brushes soon. But yeah, my birthday is coming up, so I guess I'll just wish for them. But these, as you can see, they kind of, I don't know what they're called anymore, but this one is a kind of angled blush brush I use for bronzer. And this is my blush brush. And they do the job, but they're not that great. And you can see the, the hairs kind of fall off. And for my brows, my, my favorite brow comber was in my makeup bag. And then it got kind of mixed up with my cotton things and it was ruined because there was like cotton all in it and that was horrible so now I just use this one also from Beauty's Factory it works so yes box that's everything I use so I guess I'll just uh, get on it and Jesus Christ this is almost 10 minutes long good thing I chose to divide it up so yeah I'll put a link in the description for my routine, and I'll see you later. Bye!